So we're here in Glasgow and this is our first redesign conference and we're all quite nervous. This is quite a big thing for us. We're really looking forward to it and I think the big thing is we're looking forward to seeing what the young people come up with because this is about thinking differently, it's about thinking outside the box. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Good morning everyone. I'm Ellen and I'd like to thank you all so much for coming to the first of five of our redesign workshops that we're running right across the country. So 60 degrees, it's designed to totally disappear, but with warmer water, it'll start to go all mushy. India, it's in LCD screens, so you can screens above our phone screens. So we have to find a solution. We can't keep putting stuff in holes in the ground. So what do we do? And what we're doing is throwing that to you to say, how would you do it? If you were the government, what would you do? How would we make mobiles or iPhones or you know, laptops in the future? Is there a different way of making things, a different way of thinking? So it's looking at materials as something that have a value. It's about thinking outside the box and thinking differently. Well, it sounds like you're thinking long term, much more long term, which is exactly what we're asking for. I think the first impression is that the task is quite a challenge because it's not a specific answer we're looking for. It's not an A, B, C, D answer. It's not like, you know, tick a box. This is about just rethinking the whole system. It's thinking up something that hasn't been thought of before. Yeah, you get an idea and then, but is it really realistic? <laughs> Designated forestry reserves. Very reusing resources. It's really interesting to see different people's thoughts on the whole subject because some people are thinking about really out of the box stuff. So there's a real range of thinking. It's a very simple question, but the answer is big picture. The final uh, time has gone for the task. So we are going to be marking what you've produced I'm trying to mark, which is a very, very difficult task, because there are lots and lots of really great submissions. And winner for the first reading line in Glasgow is Hubbard and Graham. Previously based our whole kind of solution on the idea that it should be a complete cycle, like the biological process that we saw in the first place. It was a nice complete cycle. The industrial one was completely linear. You know, one of the first things we put in the judging criteria was coherence. And I felt, and in fact we all felt, you all shared the same argument. You all came from the same place. And it was based around what had been learned, but also thinking outside the box. They nailed it. <laughs>